side, letting up a little bit of pressure. Letting up a little bit, that's the understatement of the year, Vic Black, but one man <coughs> on their own line, they've got a gift penalty to Barthold and Sanko with it. Shane Woods will take the kick for touch. We saw all the danger bit there from the winter side being thrown into the play. Uh, Ron Eastop doing a tremendous amount of work lately back inside. Justin Lennon, they're all uh, all in there trying to get across that line. Started off just 10 metres out and unable to push through the back wall of the bench. Absolutely rock solid this afternoon. That's right, Vic, they've got Noel Basher with the interchange bench working overtime here as we spoke. Tom Mitchell on that day to be interchange bench is all important and very much it is so too. We've got Dave Biddock now takes a run. He gets to about 22 metres out from their own line. Like the down to 12 men. Still tackling their hearts out though. The Devils took Bailey now. Bailey trying to link up with Wilson. A pass. Look forward. He's got it on one tackle. Almost out of two. Wilson looking to offload. Can't do so. Gavin Lappin brings him down. About 18 metres to a halfway. Noel Bashford now gets out of one tackle. On the end of a good play there from Barthold, no very enterprising football. Standing and offloading in a, in a bit of traffic. Noel Bashford coming off that interchange bench. Speaking about big mobile forwards, Barthold, the forward pack, that ball of them. Well, we mentioned during the week this was going to be the game to watch, and it certainly is shaping up that way. We're not feeding the scrum now. Comes out that way, Justin Lennon away with the ball. Robbie Eastock moving up the line now. Yes, that's Robbie Eastock right on halfway. The 20 metres in from touch. Zach Watts now takes him. Probably about his sixth run of the game. Twelve and a half minutes gone in the first half. The score on the Coca-Cola scoreboard. Six points in favour of the Barcourt and Sango winners. See Kevin Bogey to dummy half now. The Devils on the attack. 25 metres out from the Barcourt. Back now, go 
not the much needed border there for the bus, Alton Ford, but through a power of work. Justin Lenstead, it's my turn. Oh, Somewhere in the centre of the fullback or somewhere like that. Mine from the Bill Cogan, I was now six 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
18 metres out from the wind line, Malcolm Spell, dummy half, looking for basket, can't do so, goes himself, Spell, from dummy half, Shepard and Peter, the player there, Joe Hoff, let's play, go on, couldn't advance the football much after the Shepard anyway, Danny Arthur, it's snapped him to ground, Chicka Patterson comes in, pocket, we go, run, keep a pattern, run down, Good yard in face from Kevin Fogarty, scooting out of dummy half on the blind side. He's a couple of metres short of halfway, about four tackles gone to Lent now. Lent looking for runners, finds McIntyre, who'll be quite the first 40. Good run from McIntyre over the halfway line, he goes, five tackles gone. Lent and dummy half, 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 Lent and dummy Probably 30 metres out from the bar, Gordon Line. Rob Eastoff at half-time, uh, very disappointed that it looked like he wasn't going to be going back on and why would he be with the knee and the uh, elbow that were giving him a lot of trouble, but I guess uh, a great deal of disappointment from him because he's not going to be able to be out there and doing it in the engine room work. Yeah, that's right, Vic. Um, he, he leads from the front, Robbie Eastoff, with his work to be done, he gives it and does it, and then everyone seems to follow him. As well, they might, the captain coach, Justin Lent takes over the race. Now he's going to have a busy second half and the Devils are going to get the grand final at home. Last thoughts come away from that scrum. We've got Harry Bleacher in a bit of space. Harry Bleacher still going. Gets that away. Johnny Power. Johnny Power, the back up there in the form of Esther. Esther is still going. Gets that a one, two tackle. 40 metres out from the wind line. Wind still not back on side. Here comes Barkey again. Danny Arthur turns it back inside to Johnny Power in a bit of space. Taken high from basket. He's put the ground about 25 metres out from the wind line. Danny Arthur's dummy half. And to Bailey. Bailey to Wilson. Wilson. Throws himself to the line. He's caught in some pretty heavy defence from back in time. But he's standing in the circle. Wilson, 21 metres out. Bailey. Bailey looking for runners. Searching, probing. Finds any pushers in the space. Oh, Patterson, Got out of that tackle. Gets a good one. He's only a metre short. Big tackle. Oh, 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 and he's oh, 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 Shane 
Ryan Woods put the ball to the ground, couldn't regather, slipping away, hanging his head in shame. Or well, he had the fullback to beat Clint Mann at Marty Ball from outside him. Let's try time for the Goannas, but they. It's a little bit of loose dirt out there, and he seemed to stumble in that. It's uh, sort of right beside the old cricket pitch area, and on both sides of the cricket pitch, there is some loose area, but King West, with, uh, with all that at stake, four points on the board. That's right, he would have, would have kicked them away to almost an unassailable lead. Good break. Yeah, a good break there from Lionel Hayes, and it was coming darting away from the scrum base. Been busy when he's had to be Lionel Hayes there. It's with Newland, now Newland for Thurl. Thurl goes to the line. Good run from Malcolm Bell. He's put about 15 metres inside Barkles and Territory. Dart at a dummy half with Zach Watt. Taking two or three Barkles and Bethers with him. Still going Zach Watt. Can't put him to ground. 20 metres out from the Barkles line. They go wide now with Lenton. Lenton. Lenton looks good on. It's been knocked up again. Knocked on again. From Freddy Atta who tried to clean up. Knock on both ways. Scrum to go down 20 metres out from the Barkles line. It'll be a Barkles and loose head and feed though. Big Blackwood. Mistake of plenty. Freddy Atta there looking pretty pleased with himself to come up with that ball. Gee, he's got a bit of clarence built all over. He's um, looking very untidy this afternoon, but he that he'll just be happy with the win if they can get away with it. Lyle Morrison takes a run off his wing. Sounds funny saying Lyle Morrison coming off his wing, but that's where he's playing today. Believe it or not, Danny Arthur, he has another run, taking two or three with him once more. Two on his back? Yeah, two on two, yeah. Piggyback on two, two, almost the halfway line. Johnny Power runs the line, pops a good inside ball back to Wilson. Wilson almost to the halfway line. Only better be the Hayward is dummy half to Bailey. Bailey to Esther. Yeah, yeah, Picked up in Harry Blucher it was. He's the halfway line. Oh, oh, line. Oh, 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 oh,